Hey guys, in this section we're looking at applications using Trig. So the main thing here is we need to know some vocabulary. So when you're looking at these pictures, there's questions that talk about the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So I have the notes up over here so we can see. The angle of depression is outside the triangle right here. The angle of elevation is inside the triangle. So let's go back here. If the angle of elevation of the sun is with the ground, so I'm looking at the sun, I should do yellow. The sun with the ground. Since it's an angle of elevation, it's going to be inside the triangle. So 21.3 will go here. What is the length of a shadow cast by a five foot person to the nearest foot? So the shadow would be on the ground and then the person would be this line. So I guess technically you would actually want the sun higher, but it's still making that same elevation. Okay, so the person is five feet. And we're trying to find the shadow. So we need to look at our reference angle and label our sides. The opposite will be the five, and then we're trying to solve for adjacent. So think about Sokotoa, and which one has O and A? All right, so we're going to use tangent of A, I'm going to say tangent of theta, is opposite over adjacent. Well, theta is our angle, which we have. So we have 21.3. The opposite side is our 5. And then adjacent is what we're solving for. So we've done this before. When the unknown's on the bottom of the fraction, we have to multiply to get rid of that fraction. So we're left with x times tangent of 21.3 equals 5. And then we divide by tangent of 21.3. So it's a two-step solve that kind of seems a little backwards, but that's how we get x by itself. So 5 divided by, and then we go to function tangent and put in the degrees. So 12.82. Okay. So this time we have a support cable for a 92 foot tower. So we have a tower. It's 92 feet tall. And then there's a support cable that goes out that's making. Here's our ground. So it's forming a 73 degree angle with the ground. And we want to know what is the length of the cable. So we want to know how long that cable is. So again, I want you to find your reference angle and then label your sides. So we know the opposite. And then the tower makes a 90 degree angle with the ground, most buildings do. And so this side would be the hypotenuse. 
So when you're doing these problems, it helps to draw it out and you're always going to be making a right triangle. That's how we use trig. And then think about Sokotoa. I need the hypotenuse and I have the opposite. So OH would tell me to use sine. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And we're going to plug in what we know. So I actually have sine of the angle, which is 73 equals opposite side, which is 92 over x. Now we're doing exactly what we did last time. It's a two-step solve. I have to multiply both sides by the denominator. That's how I get rid of that. So I have x sine of 73 equals 92. And then to get x by itself, I divide by sine of 73. So that gets x alone. And then we put that in our calculator. So 92 divided by sine of 73 is 96.2. But we're rounding to the nearest foot. So we're just going to do 96. All right, so when you're looking at these problems, it really helps to have a picture, a visual. So we have a kite with a 160 foot string. So we have this string that's coming down and it makes an angle with the ground. So here's my ground. I know that string is 160 feet and it's making an angle of 75 degrees. What is the height of the kite above the ground? So this height is what we're trying to figure out. How far away is that? Okay, so find your angle. That's your reference angle, the one you're given. We're trying to find the opposite. And then we have a right triangle. You have to have a right triangle to use these trig functions, okay? If it's not a right triangle, it's not gonna work. And we're given the hypotenuse. So again, we are gonna use sine. So we have O and H. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 75 equals x over 160. And this one is a one-step solve because when I multiply by the denominator, x is now by itself, and that's what we want. So this goes in the calculator. 160 times sine of 75. 154.5 is how high that kite is. It's pretty tall. And then you're going to have somewhere you just have to fill in the blank, but again, it really helps to get a picture of what's going on. So from the top of an offshore oil rig, so an oil rig is out in sea, it's 154 feet above sea level. So this is 154 feet above the sea. With an angle of depression of a passing ship is 16 degrees. So a ship passes. I'm trying to think about how I can draw a ship. We have a ship passing. Yep, it's a boat. That's my ship. <laughs> with an angle of depression, 
So I'm going to create my right triangle to the ship. Remember, we have to have a right triangle. And then this is when the angle of depression is above the triangle. So it's actually would be this, which is 16 degrees. But remember guys, that's the same as this. So this would also be 16 degrees. We want to find the distance between the ship and the top of the oil rig. So we want to find this distance top of the rig to the ship. Okay, round your answer to the nearest 10. So, I'm going to use this angle. We know the opposite, and we know the hypotenuse. Gosh, we're just using sine over and over and over. So, sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, which I guess we're calling x. So two step solve, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So x times sine of 16 equals 154. And then to get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by sine of 16 x equals 154 divided by sine of 16, which is 558.7, rounded to the nearest 10. A tree casts a shadow, so we need a tree that's casting a shadow. So here's the shadow that is 73 feet long. The angle of elevation of the sun, so we're going to say the sun is back here. That angle of elevation is 26 degrees, and we want to find the height of the tree. So I'm just going to bring my tree down a little bit so my picture matches better. We want to find this height. How tall is the tree? That's our X. Round answer to the nearest 10. So we're saying the tree makes the right angle. So here's our reference angle. And we're trying to find the opposite side given the adjacent. Okay, so this would be tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. That's the trig function we're going to use. So tangent of the angle, which is 26, the opposite is what we're trying to solve for, and we're given the adjacent, which is 73. So for this solve, multiply by the denominator, and x is then by itself. x is 73 times the tangent of 26. That just goes in our calculator. So 73 times tangent. We're rounding to the nearest tenth again. So the tree is 30.